Europe's first global navigation satellite system is approaching a new milestone. The launch of two more satellites marks the final activities of the in-orbit validation phase, proof that Galileo is becoming a reality. In October last year, Galileo made history when its first pair of operational satellites were sent into orbit by the first Russian Soyuz rocket ever launched from Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. The launch campaign is going very well, very smoothly. The reason is because of the second one. We are taking all the experience of uh, last year. We have been improving uh, activities and procedures. And uh, also to be noted that this is the third campaign for uh, Soyuz in French Guiana. And of course, so the interface with the launcher with the Arnest Pass are extremely smooth and uh, we have very well-oiled machine. Navigation satellites transmit a time signal to receivers, such as those in a car. And by comparing the time signal in space with the time on the receiver, the distance to the satellite can be calculated to work out the receiver's position. New technologies have been developed for Galileo and it contains the most accurate atomic clock ever flown in space, losing only one second in three million years. Essential when precision timing also plays a role in many applications, from transportation and financial transactions to the control of power stations and mobile phones. The in-orbit validation phase aims to qualify the Galileo system. When complete, it will consist of 30 satellites and remote ground stations around the world that will command and monitor the constellation and deliver navigation and timing services to users. Galileo has been conceived from the beginning as a global system. Uh, this is why we have to uh, deploy our ground segment uh, everywhere around the world. And we have ground stations like here in, in the French Guiana that are very far from Europe, very far from our control centers, but they are necessary to uh, measure the quality of our signals uh, even around these uh, parts of the world. A joint initiative of the European Union and the European Space Agency, Galileo highlights the peaceful use of satellite navigations. This civilian positioning system will work alongside the American GPS and Russian GLONASS systems that, unlike Galileo, are both controlled by the military. Galileo will be able to position objects down to a metre or less, much better than what GPS offers today. Furthermore, it will increase user confidence by reporting any satellite failures within seconds. Also with this launch, unlike previous satellites, a new service is on board to improve safety and emergency rescue operations. Another important capability of these two satellites is that uh, they are flying an additional payload. This payload is called search and rescue payload and is actually used to retransmit the signal coming from a boat or an airplane in an emergency to the rescue control center. And this, uh, the use of this payload will allow the international organization called COSPAR SARSAR to improve the capability of their system, in particular to have a, a faster uh, arrival of the emergency rescue system to the people in danger. The new Soyuz launch pad is close to the Ariane facilities and together with the addition of the new Vega small launcher ensures that Europe has independent access to space and any satellite orbit. New businesses are now set to exploit precision timing and location data and by providing Europe with its own global satellite navigation system, Galileo is not only securing its own autonomy, it is at the heart of this emerging, promising and exciting area.